The time has expired. Senator Meinholm. Thank you, Madam Acting Deputy President. Many Australians feel the major parties don't represent them. Their elected representatives often have good intentions at the outset, but the constraints imposed by their parties soon kick in. They end up defending the status quo, talking in generalities and platitudes, and seeking at all turns not to offend a soul. So a quarter of Australian voters cast their vote in the Senate for minor parties, parties other than the Coalition, Labor and Greens. That's more than three million Australians. Their votes only led to 11 per cent of Senate seats going to minor parties, but at least there are voices in the Senate raising issues of concern to them. They get a Conservative senator like Bob Day, a small government senator like me, and an everyday decent man like John Madigan. The intended change to Senate voting will smother these voices. People who vote for minor parties will see their votes exhaust. They will have no say in the makeup of the Senate, and they will be effectively disenfranchised. The Greens support this because it will rem remove competitors and deliver them the balance of power. I don't understand why the Coalition supports it, Beca perhaps because it will wipe out any alternative voices for smaller government, like the Liberal Democrats, and any alternative for conservative values, like Family First. We regularly point out how the Liberals and Nationals are addicted to big spending and high taxing. Perhaps they think they are securing their base, and empowering the Greens is a price they are willing to pay. Perhaps they don't really mind if government spending and taxation rise, and for Australia to slowly turn into Greece as long as they are in government while it happens. What we know is that Malcolm Turnbull dabbled with joining the Labor Party in the past. Perhaps he really is the Manchurian candidate for the Greens. Should we be surprised if a member for Wentworth hands the balance of power to the Greens? But what is surprising is that the small government and conservative elements in the Liberal and National parties haven't woken up to what is going on. Thank you, Senator Lyon.